Hello everyone and welcome to the Networking Basics mini lecture series. Today you will learn uh, how to subnet using a chart. Specifically you will learn to subnet uh, for a slash 24 uh, address. At the, at the end we will uh, reinforce the material by going uh, together walking through three different examples. Here are some important uh, definitions. VLSM stands for Variable Length Subnet Masking, okay. i.e. we adapt uh, the subnet uh, to the size uh, of the particular subnet. Uh, how to use? It is quite simple. Uh, think of subnetting uh, or think of the subnetting chart as a cookbook of subnetting recipes. Your job is to find the subnetting recipe that meets your subnetting requirements. In the chart we are using there are exactly six subnetting recipes. What you are viewing is the slash 24 subnetting chart on which this mini lecture is based. Now let's have a closer look uh, in order to understand very well uh, the various components so that you can apply it uh, to various scenarios. The first row in a chart represents our specific recipes. You can see we have exactly six recipes, well, six recipes, recipe one, two, three, four, five, and six. Our first recipe here is uh, for two subnets, uh, and each subnet carries or supports 126 usable hosts. Our second uh, recipe here is for four subnets each supporting 64 usable IPs or 62 hosts. Our third is 8 subnets and 30 hosts and fast forwarding right to the end our last recipe uh, supports 64 subnets where each subnet can carry two hosts or two usable IPs. The trick uh, in using this chart is to find the column in the very very first row that matches our subnetting requirements. For example, uh, if we have uh, a requirement uh, to subnet an address into eight subnets, then our subnetting recipe would be a slash 27, where we actually have borrowed three subnet bits or three sorry where we have borrowed three host bits and in which we have exactly eight subnets and uh, each subnet carries 30 usable IP addresses. Another example could be where we are our subnetting requirements calls uh, for at least three subnets. If that were the case uh, then the recipe that matches uh, our subnetting requirements would be uh, a slash 26. We, in order to achieve three subnets uh, we need to go to the slash 26 or we need four uh, to the slash 25 only provides two and there's nothing in between so we need to find the closest which is four. So we would have four subnets. Each subnet would carry 62 hosts or 62 usable IP addresses. And uh, we have borrowed two bits or transformed two host bits into networking bits. Now let's assume that uh, we have a particular scenario where our subnetting recipe or our requirements uh, call uh, for a slash 28 subnetting recipe. If that were the case then we simply cross every other column out. We, our recipe 
being this column right here. What, let's look at the other elements of uh, our recipe. Uh, so uh, we have 16 subnets and the subnets, uh, in particular the subnet ID, the usable uh, IP address range for each subnet is provided as a, a separate row. So for example for subnet number 0, oops, sorry, for subnet number 0, our subnet ID would f the last octet of our subnet ID is dot zero. The first usable would be dot one, and the last usable is dot fourteen. And of course, the broadcast address is dot fifteen. Simply, uh, we add one to our last usable. So this is for subnet zero. If we look at subnet one, our subnet ID is dot sixteen. Uh, the usable IP address range is from dot seventeen to dot thirty. So any host on the network uh, needing or requiring an IP address would be assigned an IP in this range, and our mask is dot thirty one. Remember that a subnet number one is our second subnet. All right, remember here, order versus number. Now, the subnet mask for our a slash 28 is simply 255.255.255.240.240, where the 240 is simply taken from the subnetting recipe, uh, we take the value uh, from the last row. From the very last row, we take the value, and that is the last octet in our subnet mask. Let's look. At, let's look at a first example together. Here's the definition, or the problem, or the res uh, the th problem to resolve. You are asked to subnet 10.5.20.0 slash 24 into at least nine subnets while maximizing the size of each subnet. For subnet number six, which incidentally is the seventh subnet, answer the following questions. What is the subnet address, also known as the subnet ID or the network address? What is the range of usable IP addresses for uh, subnet number 6? And what is the broadcast address? Let us find the recipe uh, that meets our requirements. A slash 27 uh, is not enough. A slash 28 uh, provides 16 subnets, which exceeds uh, nine uh, and the slash 29 is too much. Uh, it does not maximize uh, the size of each subnet. Therefore, the recipe that meets our subnetting requirements is a slash 28, which provides us with 16 subnets, where each subnet will provide a six, 14 uh, usable hosts. As we learned before, we cross everything out and focus only on the column uh, that meets uh, our requirements, our slash 28 recipe. If we go back to the question, the question asked for us, uh, asked for subnet number 6 to provide the subnet address, range of usable IP, and the broadcast address for 6. So let's go to uh, number 6. So here we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So subnet number 6 has a subnet ID of dot .96. The usable IP address range is from dot .97 to dot .110. And the broadcast address is dot one one one. The subnet ID 
as shown here is 1010 or sorry 10520.96 first usable IP address that we can assign to a device is 10520.97/28 the last usable 10520.110 the broadcast address for this subnet ID is 10520.111 and the subnet mask in dotted decimal or quad dotted decimal is 255-255-255-240. Now let's move on to the next example. Example number two, subnet address or starting subnetting address is 105.260-24 subnet this address to support at least 15 hosts per subnet while maximizing the number of subnets. For subnet number two, which is the third subnet, remember order versus number, answer the following questions. What is the subnet address? What is the range of usable uh, IP addresses that can be assigned to uh, devices such as routers, switches, access points uh, etc uh, and what is the broadcast address and finally let's find out what the subnet mask is in in dotted decimal so let's match our requirements to the first row so we are looking for a recipe that will provide us with at least 15 hosts per subnet uh, so 2 doesn't do it, 6 not enough, 14 is not enough, and the next step up is 30, which provides uh, us more, but it's the closest that provides us with what we need. Now uh, we could go with 62, however, uh, we would not maximize uh, the number of subnets as per the requirements. Therefore, our recipe is a slash 27. Our requirements uh, are that, or the recipe that matches our requirements is slash 27. So we cross out everything. Everything we cross out and focus on our recipe. Our recipe provides us with uh, is a slash 27. We've borrowed three uh, host bits. We have or we end up with eight subnets uh, where each subnet will support 30 hosts or 30 usable IPs. Subnet 0, subnet 1, subnet number 2. The network ID for subnet number 2 is the subnet ID for uh, subnet number 2 is 10526 6427 the first usable IP address in this subnet is 105.26.65 the last usable is 105.26.94 and uh, the broadcast is 105.26.95 which is simply the last usable plus one and the broadcast sorry not the broadcast but the uh, uh, subnet mask is 255-255-255-224. In this last example, example 3, we will uh, see how to use a, the subnetting chart to answer uh, questions such as, uh, given a specific IP and mask, uh, is this what type of address do we have at hand? Is it a subnet, is it a, a usable IP, or is it a broadcast address? Uh, and then uh, we can use the subnetting chart to compare two IP addresses of the same subnet, uh, oh sorry, uh, that have the same mask to determine whether they are in the same subnet or not. In this particular example, uh, we have a laptop configured with an IP address as follows, subnet mask, and a gateway address. Uh, we are told that the laptop is unable to communicate outside of the network segment. What do you think the problem is? Number one, the subnet mask corresponds to 
with slash 27 prefix length. What we will do in this exercise is we're going to compare, we'll look at uh, this IP address to determine what type of address it is. We'll look at the gateway address, determine what type of address it is. If they are both um, valid IP addresses, which is what we expect, because uh, an IP address to assign a device must be from the usable IP address range as well as the gateway address. So first we look, we're going to use the subnetting chart to determine whether they are valid addresses or usable addresses and then uh, determine whether uh, they are in the same subnet because recall the, uh, the gateway um, of any IP address for any, sorry, the gateway for any device has to be in the same subnet. Alright, so we have a slash 27 uh, and the addresses we're comparing is 92 and 64. So 92 is in this range right here, so it is in subnet subnet 2 and the gateway address is 64, which is a... So both addresses are in the same subnet. However, the gateway address is not in the usable IP address range. It is actually the network ID. Hence, uh, we have an invalidly configured or we have assigned a wrong type of address to the gateway. Uh, therefore, uh, that explains why this particular computer cannot uh, cannot communicate outside of uh, the network. Uh, the IP address that should be assigned to the gateway should be in the range .65 to, to .94 uh, and in any and and of course you need to uh, find a, an unusable you do not want to be using an IP address that has been assigned to another device. This concludes our mini lecture uh, on using the subnetting chart. I will be preparing another uh, video on uh, using this chart for fixed size versus variably sized subnets. Thank you very much for joining and uh, hope to see you soon.